Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, the time has come. We're going to check out Crisis Remastered and the Can It Run Crisis has <laughs> graphic settings. It's uh, the big meme, Can It Run Crisis, that uh, has been going on. We've seen that the Crisis Remaster running on the Switch, which I did a video of previously. Check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, if you haven't seen it, pretty interesting to have it on a mobile console, a mobile device. I'm yeah, pretty impressed. Of course, it's coming out on current gen and next gen consoles, I believe, the Crisis Remaster. And again, it's going back to that age old Can It Run Crisis meme, and they've ran with it. And if we look in the settings here, in uh, video settings, we go to graphics, uh, advanced, choose, and there is a Can It Run Crisis setting which maxes everything out. Don't want motion blur on. But um, I haven't got HDR enabled, but yeah just max it out 1440p and we'll see how it runs i have just got to the bit where you just first go over the water and the jet comes past and you see the big the vista so let's continue with that we got the fps graphs on the screen and you can see the cpu usage and all that good stuff and the frame timing see if the optimizations are decent of course the original crisis wasn't the best for multi-threaded optimizations so here we are on Can It Run Crisis at 26 FPS. Oh, not the best. And it's dropping as we come to the edge. Oh, 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 major frame timing issues here. We spotted KPA patrols down on the beach. Use your binocs to tag them if you run in line. Ooh. I see a large transfer. Look at all them frame timings. Of course, we have ray tracing as well enabled. And all that good stuff. And there's the jet. So, of course, we don't want to be playing it at about 20 FPS. Uh, I can't imagine it being any better than that throughout the game when there are a lot of combat situations going on. Explosions, physics getting involved. It's probably going to take a massive poo, and I don't want to uh, damage your eyesight with uh, stuttery footage. So, we will try. And lower some settings. Maybe lower the resolution to 1080. Let's see what 1080 will do. So hopefully we can get our hands on a 3070 at some point from Asus to benchmark uh, again. Let's see if 1080 runs any better. Not not much. If anything, to be fair. Oh my god, the oh my god, the core temps are going all over the place. The Ryzen is cooking. I could fry an egg on that. 20 fps that is mental oh my god we're not oh we're not gonna get anywhere with that let's leave it at 1440 and just see if we can get a good frame rate at 1440 this did recommend medium settings for me i'm gonna try on high with ray tracing everything on high and we'll see what kind of frame rate we get then no we're still still not touching uh still not touching 60 And it's got them big drops still. Though I have heard that the 3080 is running this pretty well at 4K. Not sure if 60, 4K 60, but it runs it at 4K. Well, I could run it at 4K, but it'd be like 5 FPS. So I've not looked at the benchmarks much, but hopefully, like I say, we can get a 3070 and try it out. Point forty p. It's still not, still not good enough, is it? Point forty p. We need that. We need that sixty solid. So what the physics do? Didn't really affect. It. In fact, then, if anything, the FPS went up. Then looking at the physics there. So we can see the ray trace in there. Got new core sticks as well as shimmering water shimmers, new textures.
So it's all very, very, very nice looking stuff. Whoa! Let's try and drop some settings again. Because ideally, I wanted ray tracing on and see what the performance is. So uh, if we drop to medium, it's going to disable ray tracing. Dropping it to medium, which was the recommended, then there we go. Much big, big performance increase. We can see the textures drop, but we can tweak these a bit further and get the textures back up to their high quality. We can see they're a bit more smudgy now. But that is a huge difference on medium settings. So I wonder if it is just the ray tracing in particular that's just dropping our frame rate here. But like I said, it's going to look better than default OG Crisis. It has had its improvements. And have you ever seen a tree as good as that since Crisis? Like the destruction? It's just amazing. This is so much better for my temps as well at lower performance. So definitely, I think this generation of RTX cards, the 20 series, unless you've got a 28 Ti, of course, that might be uh, be just about doable at maxed out, but you're definitely going to want a 30 series if you really want to play this fully, fully maxed out. And get a decent frame rate, because I definitely can't on a 2070 Super with a 3900X Ryzen CPU. But yeah, yet again, you're going to need one hell of a beast of a CPU and GPU to run this maxed out again. Oh, it's just like being back in whatever it was that this came out. I can't remember when Christ this came out, but it's, it's going to be just like that again. Believe me, that lighting though. Them shadows. Oh my. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking nice. I'm still keeping that. 60 plus at uh, 1440p. And this this does look good in these wooded areas. The foliage, the vegetation. Oh my word, this looks good. And this isn't on Can It Run Crisis, of course. We're mostly medium, just a few things ticked up. Love it. It's making me want to play through these. One, two, and three again. But I'd imagine if this is really based off the original. It's probably still got those frame time issues, multi thread issues that the original had. I should imagine. Uh, I guess. Because it did severely have a lack of multi thread support. Hence, the performance at the time, as well as it being amazing, you know, for the time.
I like Minecraft for a second there. So yeah, we're definitely seeing dips now. We're getting into the busy area. And again, this still isn't as busy as it gets. So I'd imagine a lot more frame drops for me and just frame time skips and things like that to come. So unless you've got a dog's bollock PC, I think this is going to it's going to push you to the limit and you'll be frying eggs on that CPU of yours. I'm going to have to drop some zanes again to get that 100 FPS back. Oh. Before we do that, let me just run these people over. Well, got to go for a swim after a hard day's killing in crisis. Let me know if you've got a even better PC than me and how it runs. And Or are you looking forward to getting this and testing out your setup yourself? Using this as a future benchmark, I definitely will be. Hopefully, like I said, get a hold of a 3070 and benchmark it again for you, ladies and gentlemen. As I think this could be the go-to again. Other than, obviously, I think the frame time issues and things like that, I'd expect updates. So we may look at it again anyway, if the frame time issues and optimization passes have been done you know, post-release fixes, that kind of stuff. So we'll see. I'm impressed with it so far. It definitely looks better. The water looks nicer, if that was even possible. But uh, Crisis still looks amazing now, back back at the original. So it just looks cleaner. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and got an idea of how this might run for you. Let me know how you think of Crisis Remaster. Was it worth it? Did it need to be done? I don't know. But it's about £25 anyway, so it's not too bad a price. £25, £30, British pounds, whatever the equivalent is for you. And don't forget to leave a like and comment about, let's talk about Crisis. Oh my god, what's that? And subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. I'll see you peeps next time.